The goal of the transition closet is for our students to be able to wear the clothes that their parents approve of, come to school, and then swap out into the clothes that fit who they truly are. And I use the idea that this is like Superman changing in a phone booth. But that idea actually goes a lot further than that, because Superman isn't Clark Kent. Clark Kent is actually the disguise. And when Clark Kent goes into the phone booth, he transforms into Superman, who's really just who he truly is, Kal-El. And so this gives our trans students the opportunity to be the superheroes that we know they are. Hey, this is Amari, they, them. Um, I wanted to share a project I've been working on called the Transition Closet. Um, I go to Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Fayetteville, Arkansas. We're the ones that started the Free Little Pantries. And we decided we wanted to start a closet for the people who are transgender. One of our main focuses was to love on the LGBTQIA plus community, give people some free clothes, and also offer a really cool sponsorship program where we offer free binders and free tucking underwear for people who are transitioning to help people live their free lives. What I'm hoping from you is that other churches will come and help open their own transition closets so that all over the U.S. we have churches loving on the LGBTQIA community instead of hurting them. I teach high school, and most days of the week I come to school in stilettos. I get to stand at about six foot six, um, and the reason why is so I can create an explicitly queer space for all of my students. That way they know that this place is a place for them, by them, and because I never had one of those growing up. So yeah, bit of a beast. This is how we do it in style though. Okay, so during third period, we have announcements and they do the Pledge of Allegiance. I always tell my class, stand if you feel like it, don't stand if you feel like it, say the words if you want, don't have to say the words. So my class decided to stand but not say the words. My room does not have a flag. It used to be there, but I took it down during COVID because it made me uncomfortable. And um, I packed it away and I don't know where and I haven't found it yet. <laughs> But my kid today goes, hey, um, it's kind of weird that we just stand and then, you know, we say it to nothing. I tell this kid, we do have a flag in the class that you can pledge your allegiance to. And he like looks around and he goes, oh, that one? <laughs> the inclusive pride flag. I pledge allegiance to the queers.